Hello, guys. David Kunal. Good afternoon. How are you today? I'm doing good. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a really nice sunny day here. Oh, is it's it? Okay. Hot. Is is it also customary in Sweden to start talking about the weather? Because that's a British thing. We have that here. Yeah. It's the first thing we talk about always. The same yeah. in Sweden, actually. <laughs> Brilliant, brilliant. Well, actually, the weather here in London is not too bad. Um, I mean, considering it's London. Uh, but what, what's it like at the moment in, in Sweden? Well, I mean, Sweden is massive. So whereabouts are you guys based currently? Where are you each, each talking from? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm actually based in uh, Stockholm. And uh, uh, and here it's uh, it's around like 27 degrees here. It's so super wow. hot as per the Swedish weather, I would say. Yeah, same here. It's, it's, it's very hot. <laughs> Are you also based in Swedish Stockholm, standards. David? Yes, also in Stockholm, uh, right. working from home today. Uh, well, uh, normally I would say we're very jealous, but this year we've had some heat waves uh, hitting us in London. We've had some seriously nice days. So um, yeah, it's all right. You know, we're we're not we're not too we're not too far behind. Thank you guys for this um, for joining me today. Um, I know I appreciate David. This is your last day before you go on parental leave. Um, you're yes, going to officially start right. your parental leave what in an, in two hours time? Yes, that's correct. Uh, look, we're looking forward to to spending uh, six months with my one year old. Six months. So, so yeah. parental leave. So I know Sweden obviously is better than the UK in general. We 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 know that. Uh, you know, we're quite some 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 way behind. Hopefully, we we can you know we'll be there sometime in the near future. But I mean. It, does it make it comfortable? Does Kindred make it easier for you to basically just disappear for six months as a dad? Yeah, S Sweden in general, from from central uh, government wise, uh, make in encourage the, the the father to take leave, and and uh, Kindred does that also, and uh, Kindred have a special package um, to to help uh, parents stay at home with their kids. So on top, obviously, because I, I, we spoke with we whoever has been following our podcast know by now they've they've seen uh, three different interviews with kindred um this would be the fourth and they already know a lot of like there's a lot of flexibility around working hours remote working etc uh but i suppose this is the first time we we've come across that which is which is really really nice um but anyway we'll move on straight to the topic so this we're going to be talking about the transaction services team because that's what both of you guys have in common you're both involved uh with that Although my understanding is, David, you started in that team uh, when you first joined Kindred, slightly before Kunal, but I'll let you guys give us the introduction. So since, David, you've been earlier, you've started earlier, do you want to start with you and then we move on to Kunal? Sure, sure. Uh, I started uh, eight years ago uh, as a developer in uh, what was then called the bank team. It's since changed, switched name to Transaction Services. And I started as a developer to learn all the services and uh, moved on as an agile lead. And uh, after a couple of years, I, I, I switched teams to see more of Kindred, uh, became agile lead for another team. And then a, th uh, a second team uh, in the payment area was agile lead for that team also. And uh, finally moved back to transaction services and back to my to the old services there uh, because I, 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 I like to work with them and I like the people in the transaction service team. Um, and uh, since two years, I've moved on uh, to, as a domain architect for, for backend services in Kindred. Okay, so, so I see, yeah. how, how is that different from what you used to do before? Uh, a little bit less hands-on coding and more meetings and uh, whiteboard exercises. <laughs> so it's it's both pros and cons. I I miss the hands-on coding, but but it's very fun to watch off the Kindred backend platform and meet more talented people and design design more services. That's interesting. Kunal, you've joined six years ago. I take it uh, if I if I remember correctly. Correct. Yeah, more than six years ago. Uh, so I joined uh, Kindred as like a backend developer, and, and since then working at the same team, uh, I joined it as a backend, but uh, but try to do a bit of front end stuff as well. So you can say like a full stack, but not really a full stack. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean I, I like a lot of uh, microservices architecture, so it tends and the, the team actually provides me a good good platform for 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 exploring more and more stuff there. So that's so. The first thing I find interesting here is that 
both of you guys started with the transactions team. Um, both of you had certain ways you would have wanted to move your careers. For example, you had certain interests and you're both able to explore those. So Kunal, in your case, you really like what you do and you're able to progress within that and, you know, stay within that. David, you were, you had the opportunity to move around. Now, from my experience, that's very easy in tech startups, usually not with large organizations, especially as large as Kindred. This is Kindred is massive, absolutely massive. Um, how do you guys, how is it so easy for you? I mean, how, how is, why is it, was it easy in fact, or am I, I just, you know, making assumptions here? Yeah, yeah, I think it it was easy for me. I just expressed that I want to see more, 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 more teams and meet more people. And there is always a need for help in other teams. Uh, so uh, the, the, no, no issues changing teams or, or changing positions. Um, I think the, the opposite is, is an issue if, uh, if, if it becomes too stagnant and too, too uh, uh, I think more people should, should move around more. Okay. So the focus obviously is on the transaction services team or TS, just as an abbreviation later on. If the if our listeners will hear us say TS a lot, it's the transaction services. Kunal, you're currently still, you are part of the transaction services at, at this point. Um, do you want to tell us a little bit about what the transaction services team is as an overview? Sure. And, we'll, and we'll dig in slightly more into that as we go. Sure. Uh, I mean, transaction services team, as the as the name says, it's it's more related to the transactions. So, so I mean, Kindred uh, platform is a big platform, like more than three hundred or three fifty microservices inside the platform, uh, and then we as we are like a gaming or a gambling company. So uh, all the the bets that are done inside the platform are are part of uh, like a financial transaction. Is a financial transaction, I would say. And that lands into this uh, set of microservices or a mini platform itself, uh, as as we call, uh, that lands into that system where uh, all the financial transaction and how you call in a financial world a double entry bookkeeping, um, a mini bank in itself. Uh, so that is what transaction services. Um, so the, it, it's a team which uh, holds all the financial or monetary transactions uh, inside the platform. Uh, so anything that's outside the platform is taken care of by other stuff, but uh, transaction services in as a global world is is more like a financial transaction inside uh, the platform. And, and this is the team responsible for pretty much all financial transactions on, on the tech side, obviously, all the financial transactions within Kindred globally. That's correct. Okay, that's, I mean, that's massive. Um, how big is the team currently? Uh, we are like uh, around nine people, I would say, uh, and we have like uh, four, five, four to five developers and uh, like two testers. We have like a product owner and agile lead, and then uh, as per the organization structure, we have like more like an experience uh, owner as well. So um, that's that's more like uh, takes care of all the uh, transaction and the financial transaction related stuff. So and. David, how has the team, because obviously you started eight years ago, slightly before, how has the team changed from the, from when you started till now? Um, as, as Knell said, the, 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 core, the core services that actually do the bookkeeping, um, those were designed before me, so more than eight years ago. And those core services um, are still the core of the team is responsible to, the team is responsible to, to maintain that core services and uh, then there are different services around these or added and removed that the team develop and maintain over the years and and over the years uh, a few a few people have have remained uh, um, kept in the team for many many years because they enjoy working with these services and uh, other people have come and left over the years also um, uh, so, so what one can say that, that the, the the thing that doesn't change are the core services that that keep needs to maintain, <laughs> and and a core core few developers and testers. So, so there are people who have been with this team more than eight yes. years ago. Then, yeah, just before yeah. you. 
Oh wow! So what's what's the longer? Who, who? I mean, how long is the longest serving member of the team? Have they been there? I don't know. It's it's, it's more than uh, ten years now. Wow. That's, yeah. that's 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 quite that's quite. I mean, if they're not comfortable, they would, probably wouldn't have stayed. But yeah. uh, that's <laughs> that's 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 quite that's, that's definitely quite the commitment. Um, with 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 such a which with, with such a large, large 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 scale operation, nine people. I mean, do you want to tell us some of the challenges you guys uh, usually face? Uh, let, let's go back to you, Kunal, on this one. I mean, uh, it's it's like kind of like day to day stuff that that works. I mean, uh, of course, it, there's always a good day and then there's always a bad day. But uh, I mean, we as a team uh, like collaborate so well. Uh, be it like this last two years when we are remotely working from from home, uh, the collaboration has been the primary stuff for us. Uh, um, so I mean, we face challenges based on like be it tech or be it process oriented. But we try to solve that uh, quite straightforward, uh, without like hassles and 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 stuff. So it's a, it's a good tuning, I would say, among all the team members. Uh, uh, and we always have felt that, uh, at least for for me uh, since last six years. So, um, and I think that's that's the same feeling for every every team member inside our team. Okay, so this is a uh, this is a long established team. It's been there for quite some time, as you guys mentioned. The core services have been there. More than ten years ago, or so. Um, what is the day to day currently? If I'm a developer, for, for you currently, Kunal, you're in there in the team. What is the day to day? What does, what's it like? What do you do? I mean, it's it, our my individually part is is being a backend developer. So uh, we we have like stuff on on our like we use Kanban as our methodology of working. And we uh, have like a lot of tasks on the board our, and our product owner and our agile lead are responsible for bringing up tasks for us to work during the next few weeks or months or quarters. Um, and our responsibility is, is more uh, like picking up those tasks and, uh, and, and trying to work on like doing development, uh, of course, uh, and contribute in testing as well. Uh, and then uh, try to be uh, like continuous integration and continuous delivery, releasing that to production uh, on a continuous basis. So that's that's something we do on our daily basis. But apart from like the stuff that is on the board, I mean, we have like technical depths as well, uh, which is like long uh, lasting stuff that has been forgotten a while in in in, in the past, and. And, and it, it's more like improving the quality and uh, and making sure that we actually deliver the right stuff in, in production. So that's our responsibility. So we don't forget stuff that has that is not really a good quality. We always have us have our eyes on, but it's always the priorities that uh, we get from our uh, product owner and our agile lead. All 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 large companies um, tend to have technical debt. This is. You know, this is this is absolutely normal. You you, you can't avoid that. Um, but there are companies, for example, who have just such a huge amount of of of, of technical debt um, that the teams who are simply employed to work on the technical debt keeps on expanding. Um, what's what's that like in Kindred? What, you know, the technical debt is it continuously increasing? Is it massive? Well, a bit of an overview. I'll go to you, David. Yeah, sure. One. Yeah, it's it's both increasing and decreasing. <laughs> As I said, uh, the the core services for transaction services has has been there for over ten years, and and they keep functioning well because smart people designed the architecture and the technology ten years ago, and that has enabled it to 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 to, to handle the ever increasing growth of of transaction. Um, but yes, some of our services uh, are, are old, and if we would design them today, we would have designed them in a different fashion. Uh, and we still need to maintain them because they are critical to operation. Um, I can just mention a, a, a big uh, tech debt that has been dealt with in, inside Kindred uh, was rewriting the payment area. Uh, it was a big project for many years called Payment Refresh. 
and uh, I can also explain a bit when we when we talk about transaction services and the core. Yeah, please. The core services are, are, are related to mostly bets and uh, people playing casino and, and placing sports bets. Those are transactions within Kindred. Uh, another kind of transaction is to your bank account or to your credit card. Th- those we call payment transactions, and those go like outside of Kindred. Uh, and and the service that that handled that was a big monolith a few years ago, that was difficult to maintain and difficult to release. Uh, so then there was a big project to refactor that and break that down into microservices, and that took um, a couple of years. But finally we got there, and and TS team took a central part in in breaking down that into microservices also. Uh, and now when it's done, we can deliver in the payment area uh, much better. So the TS team then was part, played a part of that project, yeah. but they weren't the only team working no, on it then? No, payment is a big area <laughs> because we, we, we operate in many markets in many countries and every country have their own banking systems that needs to be integrated. Uh, so there are so many integrations in the payment area and it's complex. We have, in fact, many payment teams working. But back when I joined, it was just one team that worked in payments. And then we did the payment refresh and we broke it down to be able to scale up. And, and transaction services, I can also mention, the, the, work, the workload for the transaction service teams goes a bit up and down over the years. Sometimes there's much to do and a heavy backlog, and sometimes it's a little bit less to do. And I think transactions have had a bit less to do when the payment refresh project ra- ramped up. Uh, so then transactions and services could say, hey, we can take part of this and help and build microservices. Uh, so, so took on the responsibility and became a part of the payment refresh project. So for us here, we try to be as, um, you know, neutral as possible. I mean, uh, we, we don't want to, we don't want to oversell, you know, companies at the same time. Uh, we have to. You know, they say that we have to, you know, say praise when there is something to praise. The fact, the fact that these things are, you know, the way the teams were uh, broken down, um, the management of it, of it all. I just, I just feel that there must have been some incredible people behind that. The fact that you know the 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 TS team had a bit of a less workload around the same time. Um, I, I, I struggled to think that it was just all coincidental. I don't think so. Is it? I don't know if it was a coincidence or, or, or good management that uh, scaling up and down teams to, 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 to help each other. Because that is something that we do in Kinder. We, we, when one, one team has too much to do, another team can help uh, with developing services. That has happened a lot in the transaction services team that... Uh, transaction services team have developed services that probably belong to some other area, to some other team. But the TS has developed it, maintained it for a year or two, and then that service has been migrated or shifted to another team where it where it sits better. If it's responsible gambling or if it's payment or something else. Um, so, and that has also managed. That has also been enabled to keep the team, the TS team size, a bit smaller. Because if we would have kept all the services we have developed, it would then we would probably would need to split the team or do something else. You, you you say you're not sure, and and you, you 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 speak about it as if it's sort of this is the natural thing. It's just it's always been like that. But I we know so many different companies, and it's just not that smooth. I mean, I, this is my fourth podcast with, with 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 Kindred, and I'm always impressed by how things are run. Like it's such a it's such a good environment, not just about you know what we look like to the world. It's about us having a strong foundation inside. Yeah, I guess that is why, why we have stayed so many years also, because we, we, it, it, the, 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 the technology and the tech stack and the technical challenges are fun, but, but the leadership and the management is also, is also good. Uh, that is also important. So, so I think it's both uh, management people-wise, but also it's possibly a bit of the Swedish culture uh, to be a bit flatter organizational wise uh, and, and, and less ter- less Hierarchy, hierarchies, yeah. less territorial and, and more focus on, on, on getting stuff done rather than 
protectionism or whatnot. I don't know. It, be, it could be. It, it could be. All I know is things are just incredibly run incredibly smoothly. Uh, f- you know, for me, all the stuff I keep hearing from you guys. Um, now, one thing I do know, um, and from different conversations, I'll, I'll move that to you, to uh, Cornell. Um, the once upon a time, there was always you guys had a system where one person is always on call. Um, we 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 we'd, you know come across that before, um, in case of an emergency. So they are always present. Um, why was that changed? I mean, I understand it. It makes perfect sense. Of course, you need to have with, with such a large organization, um, with the operations that you guys run, it's natural. But what you know, you you remove that. W- why is that? I mean, I mean, I would I would really bring up here that uh, it it's not really removed permanently. We still have like a third line support. But uh, I mean, we strive to build our services, which are like uh, resilient to failures, I would say, and self-healing. So uh, uh, less manual intervention is involved in case of incidents. Uh, so, but uh, the third line support is always there because I mean, it's it's kind of like something that is not being uh, like working out well, and uh, and we have like a huge service desk or the service team uh, that really monitors stuff during the incidents. And uh, if they feel that there's something that cannot be done by by, this, uh, by the team there, and then it's the last point of uh, like contact that they call us as part of the third line support and uh, our intervention is required at that time. But I mean, I would personally say since last six years, uh, a very less manual intervention has been involved in, in case of third line incidents or, or uh, incidents happening after five or six in the evening during midnight or something. I mean, our services are so resilient to failures uh, that uh, that it brings up a really good uptime for, for our websites uh, at, in, a, in a global way. So if I'm a developer, I'm listening to all of this. I mean, you know, if I've listened to any one of the uh, Kindred podcasts, I'd be quite interested and intrigued to go on uh, the website or, you know, to reach out to Kindred and see if you guys have a vacancy for me. But if I'm, you know, listening now to the TS team, if I'm a developer, um, if I'm, let's just say, to join, if I'm a developer and I'm to join, I'm not saying you guys have vacancies at the moment, right? we're not discussing that, but if we were, if I was a developer and I want to join, what, why would I want to do that at the moment? Why would you say it would be, and I have to ask this question because, you know, most of our community, it's a de- developer community and they're interested in different opportunities. So I have to ask this on their behalf. It sounds like you guys, you know, you have things very much under control everything is so well organized um what would i be as a developer would i bring to the table what's the challenge here for me what am i going to be um giving and getting back i mean we we as a team really really look for in a in a developer is the mindset and the hackish uh, stuff that that the developer brings up uh, I mean, it's not really an experience that's required, uh, or um, I mean, it's not really that that much that is that makes sense. But but more from from a mindset or the tech hacky, uh, geeky nature uh, that the the developer brings in to the team. I mean, it's always the the team uh, culture that uh, that we have, uh, which is the best in class uh, for, for for transaction services, I would say. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's uh, it's like every developer here has that mindset, and uh, if not, or if in case is something that is not working out well, uh, is the whole team that helps out and uh, helps the developer to learn more and more stuff. Uh, tries gives freedom to all all people to explore new stuff. Uh, be it if it's not really part of transaction services, uh, but is like the freedom is there to to explore new stuff and uh, bring that stuff into the team when when needed. I would say. I mean, I, I personally would would say from my my side that I have learned a lot and I've been given a lot of freedom inside the team uh, when when I joined early in in like six years ago and uh, now i uh, have the freedom to learn and learn and more and more stuff as we are going towards the devops culture and like new technology uh, stack that we bring in every every month week or years and so i mean this is kind of a culture that a developer would really uh, get in return when we when he joins in i would say okay one of the um 
things we'd 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 uh, discussed previously, um, and you know, it was a huge surprise to me. Um, uh, we've all heard of PayPal. Um, everyone knows PayPal. What I didn't realize is that you guys pretty much top what top the number of um, payments done per day by PayPal quite regularly. So PayPal does about 44 million uh, roughly payments per day and you guys top that regularly. So I'm just trying to put that into perspective to our listeners as to the scale of it. You're, you're in a completely different domain to PayPal. This is literally their bread and butter and yet you more or less do more than them on average sometimes. Um, David, I suppose this is my question to you here. You mentioned Kindred is aiming for 100 million per day. Yeah. That's what you mentioned. Yeah, that's that's the... Uh, that's a massive project. That's a massive yeah. target, project, whatever you want to call it. Do you want to tell us a little bit about that as well as why? Yeah, we need we need, we, we must be able to scale and grow. And uh, that is our ambition, both in the number of active users and uh, a good measurement is the number of transactions. And um, business-wise, uh, we open up in, in new markets and new, new regulations, and uh, then we have more customers and more transactions. Um, and, and an easy way to measure that is the number of transactions per day or per year or, 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 or per hour. And, and, and yeah, it's, it's a huge challenge, uh, but it's also, one can say that's an easy challenge. Uh, we already do 50 million transactions per day. 100 that's just a factor of two <laughs> so you, well, it's just, just doubling, doubling what, what you're currently do. doing <laughs> uh, so uh, just double the number of servers and we're there happy f fine <laughs> or 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 not we need to test it also but but it, it's a huge challenge but uh, one challenge is the technical stuff to get the technical rights and one another is just to, to to grow as an organization with the teams and the services and the microservice architecture um, that's just ever expanding um, so there there are many challenges here um, Number of transactions is a challenge, but but I think that we have other challenges that are even harder. Do you want to tell us a little bit about those? Uh, Give us a bit of a shed a little some light on, if you can obviously. Sure. I mean, them, one guys. is that we are in a re we, we we are dealing with payments, uh, as I said, the credit cards and stuff like that, and integrations to payment providers. Uh, that must always be correct. Uh, we are dealing with gambling or gaming uh, that is regulated differently in different markets. Uh, so we must meet the regulatory requirements in Sweden, Denmark, Netherlands, all the countries where we are operational. Our services must be compliant and uh, we must make sure um, that we meet the requirements. Um, that that is That is a challenge because being active in one market, fine, but being active in 20 plus markets and with each with Multiple their own markets. set of regulations and rules, uh, that is a challenge. And, and uh, we, are, we are now uh, aiming, aiming to go live in, in, in the US market. And that is also a separate challenge, both technical and regulatory wise. Um, one question I, w I, wanted, I wanted to ask based on the scale of what you guys do, etc. <laughs> And I don't know, you know, if, if you guys can answer that. If you feel, if, if not, then it's okay. We can understand if it's a bit still, um, uh, you know, you can't share it at this point. Um, but use of AI, does, is there, does the Kindred make use of AI at all? At it currently, the first question is, does it make use of it at all? We have a data science department uh, that works in the data area and they work a lot of, with with analytics and they use what they call more machine learning uh, which it, yep. uh, pop, pop, uh, to, to, to analyze uh, player behavior and to be able to detect uh, problematic gambling behaviors and be which is the responsible, responsible gambling, gambling team, team basically. yes so they are connected to to uh, machine learning models to detect uh, problematic gambling behavior and also does the transaction team work closely with them by any chance i don't think ts works Claude. you can yep. ship in here Kunal. 
Um, uh, do you mean by uh, with the responsible gaming team? Or? Yeah. Yes, I mean we do work. I mean, uh, as as uh, David mentioned uh, in the in, in uh, a few minutes ago, that uh, uh, there were a few services that we were building and uh, kept for maintenance for a couple of years, and then we handed it over to the respective teams. And uh, some components were more related to responsible gambling, but because, I mean, those services really involved like uh, transactions. Uh, and as we were like uh, known to be a transaction services team, so those services were like uh, built by us and very closely related to that. I mean, responsible gambling is directly linked, I would say, because every bet that you place as part of the compliance is uh, some, is a transaction. And if a transaction is allowed or not, is something that's uh, that's a decision from the responsible gambling uh, that you are allowed to place this bet be or. If you have breached your come breach your uh, the limit that you might have set for for a responsible gambling uh, system, so every transaction has to be has to be like uh, bookkeeped, and that's something that happens with transaction and um, and responsible gambling actually fetches those stuff and tries to uh, make decisions based on that. So if I mean the use of AI, yes, obviously Kindred uses AI. We whether the TST make use of it or not, um, it's a different story, but at least you, I mean, you do guys work with the responsible gambling team who make yes. use of that basically. Yeah. So if I'm a developer, I do want to play part. Um, there's def- there's plenty of room for me if I'm interested in AI machine learning, there's plenty of room for me to reach out and basically apply. There's a place for me there somewhere. Yeah, it's a data science department and a big data department that, that, uh, that, that works with this for sure. Fantastic. That, that, that. Anything else you guys want to add? We've, we've, I, I, I'm, I'm, curi- I'm keen not to keep you for too no long, David. I know you're very keen to to, to kickstart your no, no parental worries. leave, your six months parental leave. Um, anything you guys want to add on on uh, the TS team? Anything we might have missed out that I, you feel? Do you know what? I want to yeah. say it to developers. I want to get it out there because I know they're finding yeah, it interesting. I can mention a bit why why I kept coming back to the TS team and why I search uh, why I joined initially and, and when I still have a good re- still enjoy working with it uh, it's, it's it's like do, doing 50 million transactions per day that that, that, that is a, it's a challenge to do, do that correctly and uh, to, to, to keep the uptime uh, correctly uh, because in ev- in evenings when we have high load, that equals to 1,000 or even 2,000 transactions per second that each must be verified, validated, approved, and stored and processed. And to do that 2,000 times per second can be a challenge on architecture and technology. Um, uh, so, and and that, that is a fun technical challenge to solve. And not only TS, but other teams have similar challenges. Uh, inside Kindred, um, so that is why I think it's uh, one, 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 one. So it's, it's fun. It's, it's, Come, guys, it is it is it's really a fun, fun. Technical challenge. You won't miss it's out. A fun technical challenge to deal with this and make it work uh, both uh, architectural wise and 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 coding wise and and testing wise and man- maintaining wise. Uh, it, it it's a fun challenge. Anything from you, Kunal, to add on that? Yeah, I would like to add uh, that, I mean, we, we were in like a legacy uh, like a few years ago. I mean, not few, but uh, a lot of years ago. And then we, we got this microservices architecture understanding and then we broken our services into small microservices. I mean, it was a great tech uh, like transformation. But of course, as you say, with the great tech comes great responsibility to maintain it. Um, and uh, that's what is uh, today. I mean, uh, almost every team has like around 15 to 20 microservices that they're responsible for. Um, and uh, these teams are like around the clock, uh, uh, like monitoring stuff, uh, if not like uh, like directly uh, online, but uh, always on, on like third line support and, and stuff that we talked about. I mean. But uh, it's it's kind of like a good learning, I would say. I mean, transformation from 50 million to 100 million that we are targeting is something not just by numbers. I mean, you really get to learn each and every bit of it, that how and why and from where this tech will support this kind of stuff. And it's not just the tech, it's the whole uh, organization in, in, as a whole um, in, in, in terms of uh, the architecture, the processes, 
how we cope up with the regulatory requirements and the regulations in the new markets that we go in, how will we cope up with the customer base there. Uh, so a lot of stuff that's happening and uh, a lot of learning that we really get from this transformation. So basically, to the outside, to the out, uh, to, to, to an outsider, Kindred may not necessarily be or not necessarily seem that uh, a tech hub, but it actually it really is. It's not, you know, people might think, okay, I want to go, I don't know, um, Google, Apple, whatever. But actually, hold on a second. There is, th th this is a place where if you are a keen developer, it's not just going to be a boring day-to-day -day job. There, you're, you're going to develop further and further as a developer. Yeah, yeah definitely. And, and to, to, to continue what Kunal has said, it, it, stuff is always changing. There are new projects, new markets, new technology, um, that always new challenges every year that comes in and um, that it's, it never, never gets boring. Um, and I guess that, that's, this is basically yeah, what and also, and also for, 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 look, it can suit different people. Uh, it suits, suits me that wanted to try different roles and jump around a bit and see a different part of the organization. Be, uh, and, and, and Kunal also staying put and, and, and flourishing inside one team and becoming an expert in that area. There are so many different roles and paths. You, it's 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 the the choice yeah. is yours basically. You come once once you're in the choice is yours how how you wish to progress uh, upwards. Fantastic. Uh, David Kunal, thank you so much for that. Uh, appreciate you guys uh, tuning in today, especially yeah, you, David. You know, no worries. Literally, the, uh, 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 as a last task before before you go on parental leave. Um, and uh, I wish you guys both a lovely rest of the day. David, enjoy your uh, six yeah. months, the, the next yeah. six months. <laughs> I will. I'm looking forward to come back also. <laughs> Well, that's 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 the yeah, spirit. Yeah. That's the spirit. Thank you very Thank much, you. guys. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Bye.